Amen. Another story now. Another story. So I was thinking this morning, and I said, you know, maybe I ought to put a mic stand up and put a blank piece of cardboard in case someone wanted to say something. Katie leans over and says, "Can I say something?" Katie, come up and share with us. what the day was. I hadn't looked at a calendar in I don't know how long. And I leaned down and looked at my phone during church, which would have given me thought it was good. But, and I looked at my husband and I just smiled. Because today, we have been off of addiction for four years. Woo! <laughs> But it was the day that God set us free. Amen. And I want to say this in front of everybody. 
you know, look at my husband and tell him how proud of him I am because he has overcame so much in life. And I don't know if anybody ever knows, but he is a miracle. And I don't treat him like that always, but I'm working on it. <laughs> but I want you guys to do something for me. The next time you're driving down Main Street and you see those people in the yellow shirts and green pants and shackles and handcuffs, pray for them because that was us. And at the time, it felt like hell, but now it's such a blessing to know that that's what we overcame. And you don't know what those people are going through that are crossing that street. Uh -huh. So just pray for them because that might be all they need. Hey.